Hello and welcome to a Smurpee video and today we are looking at X-Men issue 15 because I already forgot because this is a variant cover and it doesn't have it on the front. We have this lovely picture on Forge on the front in a trader card sort of homage to 1992 Jim Lee's cards by Mr. Dalterman. I think it's a he. I actually don't know. I should find out, shouldn't I? You guys can tell me if it's a, a gentleman or a lady. I have no idea. Um... And then on the back, it has the little stats about Forge, which is cool. So the issue begins with a little statement from Forge. Governments ask you to build terrible things. It's up to the scientists to weigh what's worst. Having that new toy or not having it. Now, we know Forge has done some terrible things with governments in the past. And I guess from forge's perspective forge i've always seen has been on the outside of mutant kind and on the outside of humankind so he's worked with governments and he created a blaster once that took away storm's powers much to his regret but also with krakoa he's designing lots of things for x force etc so i guess he perhaps apologies yeah perhaps he weighs up those things as well which is um, a little bit interesting so we begin our story with forge taking Cyclops through the jungle and um, he and he said he wanted he said Cyclops you wanted to know what I was doing with the X-Men so with the with the council so much that you put me on the X-Men team so um, we know that he put him on there to sort of understand that and um, he's created this gun and it is aimed at the children's of of the vault actual vault <laughs> um, and the the idea is that it will fire into there at uh what's its warp speed or whatever and create uh, a black hole that will destroy them all now and he says don't tell ben urich etc um that we are hiding this here um so um and this is one of the reasons why the council didn't actually want you knowing about it, Cyclops, because you have a, a big morality around people. Because Cyclops says you'll be killing lots of millions of um, children of the vaults, people. Yeah, so they come out. They come out so quickly that they start attacking. And it goes terribly wrong, forges, you loses a... a an actual limb in this he gets disarmed and um cyclops shouts out to run forge so run cyclops is left behind to die and this is written by jerry dugan and joshua kasara is the new artist guru Efex is the color artist um, i hope i pronounced that correct clean cows is on the letters Tom Miller and Jay Bowen are on design. And it's Rus Russell Dalterman. I should have known that before I started commenting on the variant cover. I've been getting them since X-Men started. And sorry, I skipped a page. You do not want to skip a page. So, um, the Children of the Vault at attack Krakola and they take it down within one day. But that is not enough for them. They then start taking out the, the Avengers and killing them as well as the fantastic four and then finally the magics were the ones who um who uh, managed to last the longest and dr doom died without whimpering or doing any of that and then they went on to ask god as well so all that happened and um he talks to scott about the the black box now we go back into the recent part where Forge and Professor Xavier are talking. So from what I understand is this black box can show a potential future. Now, I think, I feel like I remember it in Astonishing X-Men where Forge went over to another dimension. I think that was the whole idea of it. You could see possible futures that could happen in our universe. I think that was the whole idea of the black box. I could be completely wrong and I haven't read that astonishing x-men for what probably about 10 years maybe i feel like it was a 20 2000 and yeah 
yeah, mid mid two thousands. Anyway, so they're talking about this goal, and um, it it's about containing, not annihilating, containing. And we also see Professor Xavier getting better with his telekinesis. Um, now, I mean, this is going back to those earlier days. From what I understand is. Professor Xavier did have some form of telekinesis. I could be wrong. I could be right. I could be whatever. But um, he he clearly seems to be using that again, um, which is which is great. But they're talking about the children of the vault, and the the point is that they could actually they have millenniums. They are so advanced of mutants that they are dangerous. And then we go back to the single moment, and this is where it becomes genius in my mind absolutely genius so because of this black box and being able to see the future we get this moment again and it is completely different to the one that we saw so the other one that we saw was a possibility of them doing one thing now this is a containment now if you remember in uncanny x-men using um uh, what is it called the celestial seed or whatever it was they could create containments and universes and speed them up etc i feel like this is very very similar so they've contained the vault in there however within that vault they've created this program that shows them that they are taking over the the universe they fell into this trap and we'll see what that trap looks like inside so in their minds they're seeing all the things that we saw in the first part of this issue which is great there are also some guardians just to ensure that it's all contained etc and they talk about um cinch and the others going into the the vault once upon a time and how he didn't want to join in but darwin is trapped inside so they are not going to leave this x-man in behind he hasn't been forgotten they are going to go in there so um forge is volunteered to do that however they need a distraction to get in past these guardians etc uh, also using this suit that he is putting on he can also oh wait a minute sorry i jumped ahead then he asks iceman to get a specimen off one of these creatures as well so um iceman makes a joke about i can do you a solid i'm not sure if he's talking about ice but um it was a funny science joke um so um it's nice to see that relationships are being formed here as well so what this um suit does it it, it almost mimics uh, mystique's powers and can mimic him to be uh one of the the children of the vault to go into the actual vault etc um but that's just to get through the barrier once they're through the barrier he can he no longer needs to hide this is the trap that i was talking about where they are living these um magnificent moments of destroying the universes and being um conquerors etc whatever you want to call them so in that fact they are contained he's also um taking caliban to help with the the looking for um darwin so that's pretty interesting and he's literally just like a belt on and all he remembers is having a drink at the bar so whatever forge is done with him it'll be interesting to see how he has done that with him and they're just going to fly in there because nobody even knows that they're there. But we see here, we have one of the children of the fall. I've forgotten their name because I can't remember them all because there were so many. But I believe it's a she and she is watching them. So they are going to go find Darwin and that is going to be an interesting adventure. So I'm glad that they've come back to children of the vault and they are one of the bigger threats to x-men and krakola and mutant kind so they are a big threat so this containment kind of keeps them there and keeps them contained without having to worry about them escaping but there is still worry that that is coming back and the fact that we keep coming back to this um children of the vault um we've come back to it a good good few times in x-men over the last what four years now they're clearly slowly building up to something in the background same with orchis uh same with all the other little things that they've got going on in the background so it will be interesting to see how this one pans out and um i'm, I'm glad that jerry is back to doing what he does best um 
which is delivering stories that he wants to tell or off the basis of, I guess, a summary from Hickman or whatever. But he is delivering great stories, great characters that are growing on me. And I, I enjoyed the art as well. Um, Jenny Sparks, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. I hope you're back um, now that uh, age AXE Judgment Day event is over. So I'd like to hear your thoughts on this issue. Other than that, I hope you like my video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you to those that are already subscribed. Make sure you look after yourself. Very important these days. And as always, embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.